Hi everybody, this is Mama Sue, and today we are going to be making this beautiful memory wire bracelet. See, we've got the little danglies in the back, and we've got all the gleam in the front. And and it's so easy to put on your, your hand. You just slip it on like that. And you can see those little danglies hanging down there. It's just a gorgeous bracelet. I've made several different different ones here so you can get an idea of what you can do. Here's a blue one. And here's a pink one. And here's one that I really like. This is the little red one with the tiny red beads. I like how dark red these are. But that made a really pretty bracelet. But if you'll notice, you can you can even wear those all together and they look good. You can do, and, and look at the little uh, bleem bleem down at the bottom. But these are just a gorgeous bracelet. Well, today, the, today well, I love this one by itself. That one looks so cute. But today we're going to be making this one. We're going to be making the green one. Then we're going to make these pretty earrings to go with it. Well, to get started, you're going to need tools. You're going to need each of these. You're going to need a cutter, a round nose, and some kind of a flat nose. And let's pull our stuff over here. I lined it up so it would be a little bit easier. That doesn't mean it's going to be easier, but that's what we're going to try to do is make it easy. But this is a pretty simple bracelet to make. But anyway, we're going to leave this out as our reference so we can tell what we got to do. And then we've got an earring out here as reference. Now what I like to do is I like to cut... Well, I've got one already cut here. I like to cut this a little under one and a half. This one was cut one and a half rings. See, see where it stops? It stops here and here. There's one and a half rings there. This is the memory wire. It bounces right back into place when you let go of it. See? And uh, I love using this stuff. Now it's kind of hard to twist the, the ends of it. So make sure when you go to twist the ends to put your little circle in. Because you're going to have to put a, a circle like this in the end. You're going to have to put a little eye there that holds on the beads. It holds the beads on the end. So let me get these tools in the right place and we'll get this started. I've laid out my beads so that it's easier for me. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a hold of this metal. Just like this. I like to go right around the middle of this kind of a around those and then I just turn it and hold it with my finger kind of but you gotta hold on to that real strong then you're gonna move it up a little bit and turn it a little more until it touches that metal yes it touched the metal now I'm gonna grab it down here at the end where the metal is together right in the middle and I'll pull up a little bit just so that I have like a little ring I can always close that up a little more it's not a big deal to close it I'm just going to grab on, hold on real tight and twist it. See? Now, can you see there? Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start adding our beads. Now if you notice, on this bracelet here, we have one, two, three, four of the little diamonds, and then we've got five of these little silver beads, starting with a silver one. That's where we're going to start. One, two, if I can get it in there, three, get my finger down, that'll make it a little easier. Four, five, 
five. Since I have five of the silver, I must have four of those little little gems. Yes, there they are. And that's just like the bracelet. Now, from this point, now that's five of the silvers and four of the little diamond ones. Just like this. Now, when we get to the black ones, we're going to go 13 on these black ones. And that's around probably a four millimeter bead there. That's what it looks like to me. Three or four. One. Two. Three. Oh, I'm fighting with it. Three, four. If I can find the holes, I'll get it in there. There's four. Five. Six. Really helps if you have your finger down here. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oops. I lost it after I got it on. 10, 11, 12, 13. The reason I'm doing this, the whole bracelet this time, is to show you how quick these are to make. They don't take very long to make. Um, let me move this up some. I want you to be able to see. I think I'm out of your... Ah, that's better. I hope you can see that better. Now at this point, we're going to go back to the bracelets. Now, now if you get a bracelet in a thrift store or something and you want to copy it, this is the way you would copy it as well. Now you've already done the diamonds. You've already done the black ones. Now you're going to switch over to these. And if you notice, there's three diamondy ones in here. And there's four of the little green ones. You can do it whatever color you want to. This is the color I chose. Now around the diamonds on this one, because the diamond was a bigger bead, I put a bead cap on each side. And and in between, I've got those little silver beads like I do on the, um, the beginning of the bracelet. So we're going to start off with a green one. First, we're going to go with the silver. And then we're going to get a green. Then a silver. Then we need a bead cap. And if you'll notice, there's my bead caps. We're going to need one upside down first. This way. Upside down like that. And then we're going to put one of the diamonds and then an, another bead cap closing it in, going in the opposite direction like that. Then we push it down, just push it on down. And see, we've just got it started. Now we've got our first diamond on there, and it only has three on this. So we want to make sure that we follow the same sequence all the way until we end up to the end of this bracelet. So now we're going to go back to a green bead. For, well, first we're going to do the silver. I forgot about that one. Easy to forget. Always go back and check as you're going so you don't have to tear out a whole bunch if you forget to put a bead on. Because it's a pain having to tear them all back out because it takes a while to make these. It takes a little while to make them anyway. And now I'm now that I've got that one on and the two silver beads, I'm back to a glass bead with the with the two end caps. 
there's one. Then one of the glass beads. And then another one of the end caps. Just like that. Then we're dropping it on there. Now we're going to go back to a silver bead and a green bead. Silver, green, and then a silver. Now remember, you can go any color beads you decide to. Uh, all those bracelets I showed you. Um, you can go any of those colors. And they're fun and pretty little. And they look great with jeans. They just dress up any pair of jeans. Now you've got one more glass piece to put on there. One more glass piece like this. So we're going to do that right now. An end cap. Then the last glass bead. And then the other end cap. Now all we've got left for the front part of this bracelet is the last green bead with two of the silver beads on either side. So we'll do that right now. Well, if I can get it in there. There it is. Now that front piece is finished. Now we've got one side finished. Right here. We've got the 13 black beads. Then we finished off this. Let me put my hand in front of that so you can really get a good look. Because I want you to be able to do this when you're away from me. Um, see how I've got the silver, then the uh, bluish green, then the silver, then the, the two caps with the glass bead in the middle. And it just follows over and over and over and ends up with a, a green and silver. Now you're going to go back to 13 more black because you're going to be doing the same thing here all down this side. Okay, let's get our 13 blacks on there. Let me move this up so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, one. This last time you weren't able to see it very well. One. Two. Three. If you get your finger down there, it makes it a little easier to get the, the balls back on. Four. Move that down so I don't lose them. Four. Five. Maybe. <laughs> Here's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, now we've got all of our 13 beads on. We pushed them all the way to the other side. And all you've got left is this little pretty part right here to go. The little diamondy, and that, and if you remember, you've got five of the silver, and you've got four of your little glass beads. So you want to go the start start with the silver and end with the silver, and you'll be done with this with most of this bracelet. So we're going to start with the silver. There's one and a crystal. Two. Crystal, three, crystal, four, crystal, get that crystal.
crystal on there. And five. Oh, I think that's it. One, two, three, four. Yep. We are done with that. Now we just got to put a little bend in the wire. Move this out of the way. And all we've got to do is put a bend in that wire. Like we did on this other side. To hold the beads in place. Like that. Ooh. There we go. So I'm going to cut part of this off because this is way too much. You will have a little waste here and there. And make sure you hold that down when you're doing that so it doesn't pop up in your eyes or anything. And it'd be a good idea to wear glasses of some sort. Safety glasses or even the glasses. Your reading glasses. Just something to keep something from going in your eyes. Now I'm... Remember how I turned that before and I made it touch the metal on the other side? Then I came back and I squashed it a little. Okay, that's good. Now we've got that made up. Now all we got to make is the dangles to go on it. See? Now we got to make us dangles. <clears throat> These are the dangles. <clears throat> now, I already have two dangles made up here, but I'm going to show you how to make them, just so that you know when you're doing it by yourself. Oops. Hang on. I forgot my needles. There we go. Okay, well, I got the wrong ones here, but that's all right. I got one of the kind I needed, and that's what I need to show you. What you're going to want to do is, now these ones have bead caps on them. I don't have any more bead caps, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to do it anyway, just so that you know how to do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one of the silver, see how I've got the one little silver bead down there on the bottom? I'm going to put a silver bead, then I'm going to put the green one, and then I'm going to tie it off. And I'll show you what I mean by that. There's one. Well, let me see the earring for the other one. Yeah. There's one, and then I'm going to put the green one. Just like that. That's how you start it off. Then what you're going to want to do Oh, this is for the dangle. Never mind. I did that wrong. For the dangles, you're going to use this kind. You're going to use a pin that has this kind of a head on it when you're making the dangles. Because you don't want that that circle showing like what's on this one. The circle is if you're going to attach it to something. You know, and you're going to have a circle on the other side, so you don't need one on the bottom. So we'll start off with this one instead. Sorry about that. See, I put that one on there. See, doesn't that look better than having that circle down at the bottom? Then you're going to put the the bead on there. Now what you're going to want to do, let me scoot this over, is I like to sit this as close as I can to the to the bead. I like to sit it as close as I can to the bead and, and kind of in the middle of this kind of a of a round nose. There's two different kinds of round noses and this one I prefer. And then I'm just going to push that toward you. Just like that. Now if you look, it's it's sideways now. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to move your pliers. I mean your um, um, round nose pliers. You're going to move them up like this. And then you're going to bring the, the this back over the opposite way. 
just right back around. And then because it can't go all the way, you're going to move your pliers up a little bit and finish going around. Now you've gone all the way around. Can you see that? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my fingers out of there and I'm going to just put my pliers right on the tip there. See? Let's put it right on the tip right there. Then I'm going to wind this wire around and around on this tip to make my dangle. Well, it's going to actually go this way. And I'm going to kind of put my finger on this because this turns like crazy. So I'm just going to use this as, as a leverage. Hold on to it while I'm turning. And just keep winding. Now this is what's making my little dangly. Now you can put as much wire as you want on there. You can use regular wire if you wanted to. But I prefer to use this. Now I, I try to cut off that little piece right there. See that little piece that's left over right there? I just cut that off. If I can find it. And because there's still going to be a little bit of a piece there, I'm going to squash the rest of it down. I'm just going around it and squashing it. See there? Now, if you look at this, there's your little dangly. Now, if you had wanted to make it like the other ones I have over here, all you would have done is you would have put that bead cap on before you rolled your wire. That's the only difference. But that's how you make those. It's, it's very easy to make. You can even make these and sell them online. People like to buy them already made. They don't realize how easy it is to make. So anyway, now we're going to put them on the bracelet. So what we do to put it on the bracelet is we get ourselves a couple of these. I like using this kind. This kind's kind of like a little keychain. If you can see that. It's kind of made like a little keychain. See the little places where you slide those little lines there? Where you take your, your pliers and you get up close to one of those lines. Just a second. Let me turn it around. You get a hold of one piece of that, and then you pull out on it and up. And it, oops, I just lost it. Oh, here we go. Only on video, you pull out and up so that you've got an opening. Now I've got it open. Right now it's open. And then I'll slide it on to the edge of my bracelet. Now right now it's slipping onto my bracelet. See how it's sitting on there on my bracelet? Now all I gotta do is turn it and, to get it on like you're putting a key on a key ring. You just keep twisting till it goes all the way on. Now it's popped on. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with this is I'm just going to pop it on there like it's a key. Most of the time it'll just go right in there after it's been opened. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just pulling it, pulling it, pulling it like it's a key. And there's my key. My dangly went right on there. Now if I want to tighten that up a little bit, all I would do As I come over here and I just squash it in with my pliers. Just pull inward with it a little bit. And it tightens it all up again, just like brand new. Now let's get that second one on and we'll be done with this. Oh, and I put the wrong one on. 
them. Let me take that one off and put another one on it in its place. I would grab the wrong one. Now I'm just pulling it back off like I was taking a key off. Now I'm going to put the right one on, the one with the cap. <laughs> Let me find that opening again. There it is. See? I'm going to pull out and up, and it'll hold it open until I get this on. Now I'm slipping it on there. Now I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to turn it. I'm just turning it and turning it until I hear it pop into place. Ah, oh, I heard it pop. So it's on. It's on for good. See, there you go. And what's nice about these kind of, these kind of circles is um you don't lose your charms i mean it stays there unless unless you haven't made this tight enough right here inside of here so make sure you got that real tight so that this can't come off but you're not going to lose it off one of those rings so i really like that i think that's a, a neat thing about that now on this one i'm going to put both of them on at once i'm going to open it up See how I opened it? It's all open real good. I'm going to sit my keychain on there. And my keychain. I'm, I'm going to sit my, my dangle on there. And then I'm going to take this and just put it right in the same spot because now, now they're both hanging on there. Now all i got to do is turn it to get them both on there. When I hear the pop, I'll know they're on. Oh, I heard one pop. Well, almost both of them's on. Oh, there it goes. It's on now. And then I want to squash that up just a little bit. There. Now it's on there real good. Let me squash this other side too. Oh, it slips out of my fingers. Now I'm just squashing this other place right here. All I'm doing is grabbing it and pushing it inward. And when I push it inward, it pu it puts it back to the the place it was in the beginning before you started pulling on it and stuff. But there you go. Now your bracelet is finished. And you're ready to go. That didn't take too long. Now we got to make your earring. Now we got two bracelets. I bet it looks pretty with two of them on together. Let's check it out. That's with two of them on there. And there's the little dangle he's hanging. It's gorgeous. And then now we're going to make the, um, the earring. So let's bring our box of goodies back over here. And get started. I've already pre-cut uh, cut a, a wire. Um, it was the same size as this one, so I wanted to. So I'm just going to start with that, and I want to copy what I have here, copy this same design. So I'm just going to be following along with this. It starts with a silver and then three black beads. So I'm going to put on silver. And then three black beads. There's one, two. This was actually memory wire, also, just so you know that. But you don't have to use memory wire for the earrings. I prefer using other wire than memory wire when I'm doing the earrings, it's just easier to mold into the shape you want it to be. Memory wire is kind of stubborn. And then when, when you get to this point, you have another silver one. So I'm just going to pick one up and put it on.
And then from this point, you're going to have a green one. See how it has the silver, black, silver, and then it goes to the green? See, now we're at the green. And then a silver. Then a wait. Then a glass one. Now you notice I'm not putting bead caps on these because you really don't need it on the earrings. And then you're going to need another silver one. I think I've been looking at the computer too much lately, not finding my beads. <laughs> okay, now we're going back to green. And then a silver. We're almost done here. Then we're going to go back to one of those little diamonds. See? Now, let's look at this. We've got, after that little diamond, all we've got is a silver, a green, and a silver again. And we're done with that that part. Now I made this one up just now. I'm going to have to cut this one apart so I have a bead. <laughs> but that was just to show you how to do it. So that's alright. I'm going to cut this off so that I have that other bead to use. There we go. Because I need one more green one. Now the reason this is taking just a little longer on this earring is because I don't have the same kind of silver um, silver balls. These silver balls have several holes instead of one. They're just a they're a different kind of ball. See how you can kind of see through them. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a lot of different holes in them. See how there's holes in different places on them. So I advise you, if you get uh, silver balls, make sure there's only two holes. It's a lot easier to use. But this will work for this project. Not too worried. And there's that one. And we need one more silver. So even though these were a pain to use, they, they worked. They worked just fine. Okay, now that we've gotten that far, we go back to the three black and the silver on the top. So let's get our three black. One, two, and three. And a silver. That one looks kind of small. Oop. three, and one of the silver. There we go. Now all we got to do is put our circle on the top. And do you remember how to do that? I hope you do. Now on this one, the bracelet we go straight this way, but on the earrings we always turn it this way if we're making this type because how we're putting this this clasp here. It has to be sideways um, so that you can put that that little piece in there in the center. The circle in the center. Now I'm turning it like I did before. Twist my pliers again. Turn it and then there you are. Now you're going to bring it to this side and you're just going to turn it up a little like we did before. See how that is? Now that one came out pretty good. Now I'm just going to squash it a little bit. And then I'm going to take 
this is another one of those those kind of uh, ooh, this uh, of uh, rings. I think you'll like this. One. I think you'll like these once you get used to them. They take a little longer to put on, but it, it's it's worth it when you see how much longer your jewelry lasts. See how I open that. And I'm just going to stick both of these on at the same time. Oop, if I can get a hold of it. There's one side. And I'm going to grab hold of this and go over the other side and grab the other side. And then I'm just going to roll it until both of them pop on. See? There they just popped on. Now I'm just going to bend it to the shape that I like and then put it up to the other one and make sure that I like that they're pretty even. This one needs a little shaping. There. Uh, I just want them close. They don't have to be perfect, but I mean that's that's getting pretty close. If you notice that's pretty close. Now, um, now we're going to use the little Thing that you made here and you're going to want the ball part at the bottom so it's going to hook onto this little round circle here and you remember how to make that one if you don't go back in the video and check it out again okay we're going to open that up and slip it on open it just like that And slip it on the bottom where the ball is. The part that has the ball. Because if you were to make that the other way, you would have had that bead cap on there. Right there. But we didn't make it with a bead cap, so we just have that ball on the bottom. Okay, I need to slip this on. Ah, oh, there it is. It's on there. Now we're just now all we gotta do is put the um let me squish that a little bit. Now all we gotta do is put the hook on it. And you've got your earrings made. Here's the hook. Oh, this one's already pulled out, but ordinarily that's not pulled out. On here, that that hook part, it's normally not pulled out like that. But that one's already open. If you can see it, that one's already open. So I'm going to take it. I'm just going to slip this earring on. And then I'm going to close it. I'm going to come down here and close it up. Let me get a hold of it, and then I'll close it. There. Now that's all there is to those pre-made ones. You just stick them on there. And they work great. Although, I use another one too that I really like to use. Where's the other ones that I like to use? I like to use these ones with the big... I like to use the ones with the big little ball on the bottom and with the spring. I like to use those too. And a lot of times I'll make my own. You know, now you've got your beautiful pair of earrings, and you've got a beautiful bracelet to go with it. And there's so many different, different ways that you can uh, use these. Like, I like these two. To, I like it with the with the two together. Actually, that looks pretty cool. So you can make them like that with the bead caps on the bottom. See, this one was without the bead caps on this one because I didn't have any more on that one. This one has the bead caps on it. And see how look that cute that looks with the bead cap on it? When you see it with the bead cap, then this one looks plain. But it's still beautiful. See? And then also I have we did we I showed you these. 
these are the ones where I left a little space in between when I was, uh, I left a little space between the beads. Now, if you want your beads to stay steady like mine are, mine are not moving, you either make them tight like this, you know how we made them tight up right up to the bead, or you pull your beads up a little bit, put a little bit of, of uh, any kind of glue, crazy glue or whatever, and then push your beads back down. You, or then just push your beads back down and put them right where you want them. Then your beads won't move around. I love it like that. I don't like my beads moving around. Here's the bracelet that went with that. That was the blue one. And that one that one was really a gorgeous, gorgeous bracelet. And then I put the kind of beads that had the little crackles in them. I thought that was kind of neat. You know, but these are all bigger beads on this one. What I really liked is when I did this this red one. I really liked those little bitty red beads with the with the diamonds. It looked really pretty. And then look at those little bead caps on those. Isn't that cute? And then um, also I made the earrings with that. And the earrings turned out pretty cute too. They're soft. Now, like I said, you could turn this into a red, white, and blue real easy by changing the black to blue and doing the same thing with the bracelet. Then you'd have red, white, and blue bracelet for um, 4th of July. And then also we have the pink one. The pink one turned out pretty cute. Now, these were only plastic beads. With the, these, these pink ones were just plastic beads. But they were nice plastic beads. They're a real solid color. It won't peel. You know, I, I'm not crazy about the beads that peel. I still have some of those from days gone by. But I'm find, slowly finding things to use them on. And then there's the earrings that went with that. I'm not really crazy about the dark pink ones. But I do like the bracelet a lot. Now I'm going to open an Etsy shop, so if, if there's any here that you'd like to buy, plenty of these kind of things you can do. But why do that when you can make them? See, if, when I make them, i got to do something with all this jewelry. But anyway, you guys, this is what we got today. We got beautiful bracelets, beautiful earrings, and um, I hope you have fun making these because these are just the easiest fun bracelets make great gifts I give gifts out of these things all the time and uh, they don't take that long you made a you made earring and, and a bracelet in that little time you know so well I mean probably about an hour you could make a bracelet and an earring set you know but and with any kind of beads you want you know this is what I chose but you could make them out of any colors you wanted or somebody's favorite colors, or school colors, or anything like that. So anyway, that's what I got for you today, and God bless you.